are inhabited by prehistoric creatures from all different types of areas. Don't ask me how these creatures are still alive. We are still figuring that out ourselves. We will start our episode in the Great Forest. Here we see a male Tyrannosaurus Rex emerging from the forest. Because we can, we will name this Tyrannosaurus Rex Antonio. Antonio has been wandering through the Great Forest for weeks with barely any food or water. The reason is, it's the drought season and the only creatures that really live in the Great Forest are either huge or they're very tiny. Antonio has finally found a way out of the Great Forest. But the bad news is, there's a giant cliff. And a fall from this cliff would easily kill him. Looks like a few more days journey for Antonio. Here we see a male Dilophosaurus that we were named Dylan. Dylan has been looking for food and water for days. But that food problem will soon come to an end. Dylan has spotted himself a baby triceratops, probably lost from his mother. After a full belly, Dylan walks away from the carcass, going to find some water. It is the next day on Prehistoric Island, and as you see, Antonio is still wandering the forest, but not for long. Antonio has found himself the great rocky desert on the west side of the island. Just like Dylan was, Antonio is starving, and whenever he smells a dead body, he goes to it. Antonio has found himself the dead carcass that Dylan killed, but it's been a day and it is rotten. Three hours later, Antonio is still wandering through the desert, looking for food, but he has finally spotted something, a young Brachiosaurus. I think for this Brachiosaurus is, it is small enough for Antonio to kill. Looks like Antonio won't starve after all, but even with food, he still needs water. After a days of travel, Dylan finally finds himself a watering hole. But the one rule of prehistoric is, 
never feel alone. A large male gunster has attacked them. The villain emerges from the murky water, glad to be alive. Dylan climbs out of the pit. Dylan turns around to the watering hole, which he killed the gastronus. But the gastronus still lives. The gastronus pins Dylan to the ground. Luckily, Dylan's able to break through from the gastronus. Dylan books it for the forest, setting up a trap. Dylan knocks the gastronus off the cliff, along with himself. Dylan pins the exhausted gastronus on the ground. Dylan rips the gastronomist's jugular off, killing him. We would love to thank you for joining us on this episode of Prehistoric Isle. Now stay, stay tuned for a sneak peek of next episode. Next time on Prehistoric Isle. One of the Utah Raptors pounces on Jack. Dylan just dodged a deadly bullet right there. Holy cow! That thing has to be the biggest one of the species!